Hi everyone. So we are focusing now on what the Rebbe said and the Parshas Emmer Sicha. Well, the Rebbe said that now that the world is so refined, we can become tzaddikim. So what does this mean? So let's talk about Escafia for a minute. Escafia is the avoda of holding back. And it's integral to keeping Torah and mitzvahs. There's things that we're not supposed to think about, there's things that we're not supposed to say, and there's things that we're not supposed to do. So sometimes we have to say, no, we have to hold back, right? So Escafia is integral to Torah and mitzvahs. But Escafia as a general mode of avoda was very emphasized by the early chassidim. There's um, a saying that's brought down in the Hayom Yom from the Altar Rebbe's chassidim that what is forbidden is forbidden and what's permissible is not necessary. So there was a very big emphasis on creating a distance between them and the world, really holding back from over-involvement. And this is how the world was refined. Because before the world was refined, there was also a danger in over-involvement in the world. It could really schlep you down. And so the author of explains in the 27th chapter of the Tanya that Escafia caused the evil forces to be subdued and godly light to come into the world. And this intense avoda that the Chassidim did caused that the world became refined. And so now the Rebbe is telling us the world is so refined that we can all be tzaddikim now. That our avoda has changed. We no longer need to focus on refining the world anymore. So what do we do? So the Rebbe says in many sikhas that our avoda now is to reveal the glory of God in the world, to use this world, the mundane aspects of this world, the mundane things for holy purposes. And I, I just wanna like pause for a minute and remind us this was not the emphasis before. The emphasis before was like proceed with caution. That's really not the Rebbe's approach. The Rebbe's approach was get out there and show that this world was created to reveal the glory of God because nothing's holding you back anymore. The world is refined. You don't have to be afraid of it anymore. Now, does this mean that we never have to do a scoffia? Of course not. We have to do a scoffia. And even in our pursuit of revealing the glory of God in the world, we have to check ourselves and make sure that we're, we're doing our vota properly and that we actually really are using out the mundane things in this world for holy purposes and that we're not just getting self-absorbed and greedy because that is one of the challenges of our generation. So for sure, Escafia is necessary, but it's not our general thrust in Avoda. And it's important to like realize like things have shifted. The way the Rebbe advised us to be is, is very different than the earlier generations. So this is our first clue. Now, one other thing that I do want to emphasize, and I think it's very important to realize, is you know sometimes you can fall into the trap of being like, ah, oh, our generation's so low, we can't handle Escafia. Therefore, we just don't do it. No, chas v'shalom. The reason why Escafia as a general avoda doesn't work in our generation is because it's not what's needed from us. And therefore we weren't given the unique strengths that are needed to accomplish it. We were given different strengths because our avoda is different now. We have to do the avoda of transformation. So it's not chas v'shalom that we're so low, we don't do avoda anymore. It's no, we're different and we do a different kind of avoda. So stay tuned.